So there's a bunch of things you can do now to improve your brain, your mind, your focus, your calmness, your attention. Um, the short list includes things like nutrition, sleep, meditation or mindfulness, biofeedback, um, these are all really accessible things that you can do now that don't involve swallowing a compound. We think nootropics are a really good option for many people, be it you know, a stay-at-home parent or a high-powered executive or a student struggling with their attention. Nootropics are a very useful thing to you know, add to your list of tools. But you should be meditating every morning for 20 minutes. That will improve your cognitive function. You should be sleeping six, seven, eight hours a night as a minimum. And if your sleep's not regulated, if you can't sleep when you want to, if you can't get up when you want to, something's wrong. Fix your sleep. Um, nutrition. We have sort of a bad uh, set of data in this country for the past 20, 30 years, this whole low-fat craze. Uh, low-fat diets are brain unhealthy for the most part. Uh, the healthiest thing you can do for your diet is eat lots and lots of fat, believe it or not. Um, DHA is one form of omega-3 fatty acids. The brain is something like 40% of these omega-3 fatty acids. So taking omega-3 fatty acids in, DHA, EPA, you know, good fish sources, pasture-raised dairy and, and cow, those are really, really healthy fat sources. In the absence of sugar, the sort of other side of the coin is that sugar is the brain killer. It actually kills all kinds of things. It causes heart problems, cardiovascular, you know, atherosclerosis, uh, diabetes-like issues. That inflammation and sugar balance is really the driver for drop-offs in cognitive performance. So abolishing sugar and excess carbohydrates from your diet and bringing in lots of good quality fats is really the key nu nutritionally to drive your brain to its best performance and prevent some of the the drawbacks that can happen with poor diet, which is increased oxidation of tissue, increased risk of strokes, diabetes, heart disease, those things all impair your ability to perform.